ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, these are the dogs. Now this is one of them. You're going to hear me talking, you're going to see some video in a moment. Um, what I can tell you is right now two of them are playing and they he's acting like he's hurt, but they're playing. And so I can hear them. That's the only time, and it usually is right about after I feed them. And so they are in their little playful mood. But I taught him how to sit right after I give him his bath, which is this very moment that you see him sitting. Oh, well, you took the picture while he was sitting. He got up and moved around right after you. No, he did not. You'll see in the video, none of them gets up and moves. And I don't have to grab them and hold them and put them back in place. While I'm talking, they just sit. So watch. So this is the, the one that is unique. Out of all of them, this is the one that stands out. He's the one that has a personality. Okay, and this, this is, is another the, boy. Used to be white. Now they're brown, light brown. Don't know why, but that's the way their hair is turning. You're going to hear me explain why this one looks a light tan. Okay, you're going to see that there is a difference, but we'll talk about it in a second. So, that's that one. And as you see, all right, we're in the shade, because I just gave the doggie a bath. And this one right here, this is a young boy, and he is quite interesting. Um... This is how calm and collected they are. Now, mind you, I did not do their feet. Why? They're just going to get dirty again. Please, my, uh, the place where they are, the pen that they're in, is dirt. So they're just going to get dirty again, but I definitely made sure I got rid of all of the... Oh, no. And they didn't really look that bad. I thought the water was going to be black by the time I got finished. Um, but it was just dirt that just came right off, so... These are the puppies. I have not trained him to do this. This is just the first time he's ever had a bath and the first time I've set him like I have him right now. Okay. Like I said, I just taught them how to sit, each one of them. One of them took eight minutes, but the majority of them, now this is another boy. This is the one that I said, as you know, that I was just showing the video of. This is him. He already taken. But he and his sister, all white. But the only problem is, when they are in the sunlight, they're white. But after they get wet and they're in the shade, they're light brown. I don't know how that is. Because he definitely looks a light brown, right? But when he's in the sun, you see the little white streaks? Those are the areas that are dry. Interesting, ain't it? You can even see the same thing on his back. The areas that are dry, white. The areas that are not dry, brown. Don't know why. See? So the areas that you see are very light. That's him. Now, this is the one I call the teddy bear. Because to me, he looks the closest to a teddy bear. And his fur, his hair, these are short hair animals, but his hair looks like that of a brown bear. A light-skinned brown bear. A light-skinned? Oh, you mean light hair? Light skin, mother... I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But this one is okay. This one, he is uh, unique in his own way. And I like the fact right, that each the of them have their own personalities. Of are all boys. The other ones will be one boy and the rest girls. All right. And as you can see, the hair is still wet. That's why I say the other one, when they're dry off, they're lighter for whatever reason. So keep them wet! There he is. This is the teddy bear of the bunch. Now this is that boy that I was telling you about. The one that you saw moving earlier. Well this is me just standing there and talking and looking up towards me. Well I have to get his attention to look up towards me. Other than that he's just looking around and not going anywhere. One sec. I took about three pitches of each, and that's the water after doing three, and it was pretty much the same color after doing all seven. 
Now, this is his sister, okay? And again, the unique part about it is, is when they're wet, they hey, are darker. this is another one of the girls. This is the more timid one. I think she's the one that everybody... Now, this is one of the females. She is the one I believe they all pick on. As a matter of fact, I picked her up today. She, she was a little bit hesitant, but I picked her up to bring her near her food because uh, I put their food out, and as I put the food out, everybody goes towards one bin. So I put her off to the side by herself for a moment. Um, but, yeah, she wasn't as timid today as she has been. So I think she's kind of she's kind of uh, uh, adopted me. Anyway, I like her. He picks on, even though she's not the runt. I'm keeping the runt. But this is the, let's say, the more docile out of all of them. She's the one that literally is the most submissive out of all the puppies. So this is the girl. Now the two white ones that you saw earlier, the white tan, because um, right now I'm looking at them and they look as white as snow, but the moment they get wet, they look brown. Um, those are already chosen by someone. Okay. What's going on, little girl? Like I said, she... Most docile, most submissive out of all the dogs that are there, including, well, not her mother. Her mother is more submissive than she is. It's just her mother's a hard hit moron. No, she's just hard headed. That's what you get. You shouldn't have been drinking that water. That water ain't good for you. <laughs> all right, guys. Now show everybody how good of a girl you are. That's right. She was the one that took the longest to get the sit because she's active like her brother that looks just like her. There's just a slight difference. He's just a little bit smaller than she is. He was the runt. This is the female. Like I said, she's active and has a lot of energy. So that gives the, I believe there is a total of two females and five males. And that's correct. There are two females. She's one of them and the white, other white dog is the other female. This dog right here is very active, it has a lot of energy, just like her brother. Her brother is the one that I'm keeping. When I walk out there to him, he is the happiest, go luckiest dog on the planet, jumping up and bouncing. And yeah, he's a, he's a piece of work in more ways than one. But I like him. I like him. I say I like him. I like him. That's why I'm keeping him. All right, because he's a keeper. And that, that is the truth. Okay, let's get on to the next one. All right. Now that's just another picture of her. I don't want to grow too attached to them because if that happens, that's why I don't spend a lot of time with them. So they'll be here for 11, the 11th week. It's now the eighth week. So they have three more weeks to be here. And after that, I have no choice but to send them to the pound. Now I already have at least three of them won't be here. And the two white ones is a guarantee that, like I said, when, okay, this is the one I'm keeping. One second. This is the most. Yeah. As a matter. No. What all of you need to understand is that each one of these have just had a bath. I've just dried them off. That's what the towel was for. But I just dried them off and gave them a bath and took a picture right after that. And I dried them as quick as I can to get them uh, presentable for y'alls. But that's what he's doing. He. This is their first time receiving a bath since they were born, you know. And I, like I said, I sprayed them down with water, so they're used to water, and they all just sat in the water. They didn't try to get out. They didn't try to run. Uh, I'm very impressed with the Pitbull Labrador mix. I now really understand why people have mixed this bread of dog, Pitbull Lab. But I can't afford to have this many dogs. It's too many. But this is the one I'm keeping. This is, this is my buddy. Out of all of them, and apparently he's got water in his ears, but most active, but the one that comes to me, the one that will follow me wherever I go, so this one stays. Isn't that right? Haven't even given it a name yet. None of them have names. I don't plan on giving them any. Where are you going? You can't go nowhere. And because it's the most active, this is the one that's going to take a while to get out of there. You ain't that's to the last frame. Knucklehead. All right, guys. Yeah, I had to stop him from doing what he was getting ready to do. He 
not supposed to be drinking that water. So I had to literally get his attention. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the seven puppies. Uh, you have the two white ones, which are not available. And then you have the uh, the two lighter brown ones, um, one of them being a female and the other one being a male. One I call the teddy bear and the other one I say is the most docile. And then you have the one with the brown nose, um, the white nose, sorry, white nose, uh, the one that's multicolor, white and dark brown. The only one that looks like it, the one that I say has more of a personality than all the rest, now, I think mine has more, the one that I'm keeping has the best personality because he is the most goofy out, out of all of them. He literally is goofy, just like his father. And so we're going to have a great time because his father and I get along just perfect, you know. So he reminds me the most of his father. And then you have his sister. Um, so there you go. People have been wanting to see the puppies after they've gotten bigger. Well, those are the puppies. They no longer look like little guppies. So you see what eight weeks can get you? And I also now see why people say that you should let the dogs go eight weeks before taking them from the mother. I get that. Because um, I got to watch everything, got to watch the relationship, got to watch how the mother took care of them this whole trip. This has been a very stressful, well, of the full eight weeks, the first three weeks were the most stressful days that I've ever had in my entire life. Despite all the junk that I've been through, this was the most stressful out of any period that I've lived. And you can combine all of them together, and they still wouldn't match up. Sorry, like I say to many of you women, you've been talking about women a lot lately. Anyway, like I said, uh, regarding a lot of the women, I now understand a little bit about how you guys are when you have children, how you're watching over them in the crib or how you're checking on them in the middle of the night to make sure they're breathing, how you're touching them to make sure that they're still moving. I get it more than you know. You may not understand fully, but I understand. Okay? Uh, I get it. And it wasn't until they reached, excuse me, retched, not reached, retched their sixth week that I, I love the word retched. That's why I stopped myself. So it wasn't until they retched their six week that I felt comfortable enough to put them outside. And once I put them outside, I was still worried, checking on them and looking through the window and making sure they were still out there and checking to make sure all seven of them were there. But I don't have to worry about them anymore. I don't have to worry about them getting trapped in anything or because they're strong enough to get out of every situation out there. The father is really, really rough with them when he plays and so is the mother but I think that that's instinctive so these are the ones that have survived and they are the strongest they weren't the strongest at first but they are the strongest now and my job is to at least until I have them make sure that they're well fed that they're overfed they're not going to be gordo but they are going to be more than healthy when all is said and done uh don't know what else I'm going to be able to teach them besides the sitting. And the they know what the word no means. And they also understand boundaries. When I tell them no, not to come out of the gate, when I open the gate now, nobody comes out. Not even the parents. Nobody attempts to walk out of the gate. Well, the parents, I can walk out of the gate and leave the gate open. And they will not come out of that gate. Because that's the way I've trained my dogs. And I've done these the same way. Because you have to teach dogs boundaries. If you don't teach them boundaries, you will have someone that you cannot get control of in certain situations. So my dogs, we always have boundaries. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was me introducing the dogs to you in less than 15 minutes. I hope you appreciate it. Those of you who've been wanting to see them, because quite a few of you have been asking about them. So there they go. Have a good day, everyone.